Look at the tech Elon Musk and XAI secured. Other big tech might try to catch up. But folks, the really important part is what I'm about to tell you. The Grok 3 and Reasoning announcements show XAI's use of 100,000 GPUs. That's right. An error occurs when water comes in and the ores fold quickly. Elon Musk took the stage to reveal Grok 3 himself. In an extraordinarily short time, we've seen tremendous advancements. They have acquired 100,000 NVIDIA GPUs to build an enormous data center, which was constructed at an incredible speed. Furthermore, they are planning to purchase up to a million GPUs soon. Grok 3 has now not only enhanced the current DeepSeek R1, but also improved OpenAI's O3 Mini higher model. When you visit x.com now, you'll see a plethora of information at your fingertips. I went through it all, and with the introduction of a new model, I'll guide you through the updates. However, it does feel a bit repetitive. Every time there's a new release, we end up discussing the same points. So, let's quickly wrap up that part and move forward. The latest strides made by XAI are truly extraordinary. And when you look at the performance comparisons, it becomes evident that Elon Musk's achievements are indeed impressive. But what makes everyone say this? How did XAI manage to acquire such cutting-edge technology in such a brief period? This isn't merely about... It's not just about developing an AI model. It also involves solidifying the hardware infrastructure. Let's delve into the technical aspects of this. Let's start, shall we? Initially, there was significant discussion about True AI and Truth GPT. However, with the recent announcement of Grok 3, some believe that the ethical restrictions and limitations have not been sufficiently eased. I'll delve into what notable figures and the general public are saying about this on Twitter X. What exactly is going on? Even though the Minister of Efficiency has a very hectic schedule, it's quite remarkable to see their presence here today. According to their statements, and as illustrated by this graph, it's a pointed critique aimed directly at Sam Altman. Nevertheless, OpenAI's website is experiencing a massive surge in user traffic, making it one of the top six most visited sites globally. And when it comes to the rest, we are looking at giants like Meta's Facebook and Google. Although there were claims that it couldn't be replaced, I personally use AI search quite extensively, even more than Googling. From this perspective, observing the rate of progress, it is indeed remarkably fast. They only started recently, right? They kicked off in 2023, and within no time, they're claiming to have outpaced GPT-4. Even with Grok 2, they were already ahead when compared to GPT-4. The vertical axis here represents training flops on a logarithmic scale, so while it appears linear, the increase is actually exponential. This rapid ascent within just a year, it's rising so fast at such a steep angle. And as shown earlier, the MMLU score was very high from the start. Of course, one could say that the engineers who worked hard before have now dispersed to various places. Some went to Entropic, others back to Google. XAI chose to partner with Elon Musk offering generous salaries which significantly increased the worth of their engineers. By heavily investing in these engineers, they had every incentive to work diligently. They utilized their prior knowledge, merging it with financial resources and motivation to drive rapid progress. This ultimately resulted in the creation of Grok 3. Grok 3 has received 10 times the amount of training compared to Grok 2, leveraging a significantly larger set of synthetic data. This is clearly visible when you examine Grok 3 and Grok 3 Mini, which fall under the Blue series. These models are distinct from earlier releases like the Gemini 2 Pro or DeepSeek V3, which were introduced two months ago. We compared it with GPT-4. You might notice that OpenAI's O3 is missing, but it will come out later. When we compare it with Microsoft's models, it overwhelmingly wins in the math and science coding sections. Additionally, the early version of Grok 3, as I always show you in the chatbot arena LMS, has surpassed the 1400 point level for the first time. Do you see it? In the chatbot arena, Gemina 2.0 flash. Thinking holds the highest rank. Following that, it's Gemina 2.0. Google often faces some criticism, but they are doing very well with ChatGPT. However, OpenAI has taken the lead in this field. A significantly larger number of people are using their platform. Sam Altman has become quite prominent. It appears they are taking a somewhat sly approach, almost as if they are flaunting their capabilities, especially when you compare it to the performance of DeepSeek R1, which falls significantly short. Additionally, they have announced that Grok 3 has now integrated reasoning capabilities. Nowadays, all the leading tech firms working on AI models, including the likes of OpenAI, have incorporated reasoning models into their systems. Although the open model ecosystem has been accommodating these models for a while, the emphasis now is on delivering AI services effectively. For example, utilizing OpenAI on a platform such as X, formerly known as Twitter. The significance lies in the ability to execute this in an engaging manner. Consequently, the term test time compute has become quite prevalent recently. It involves dedicating substantial time to generate a sequence of thoughts, allowing the system to deliberate extensively and produce these insights. Moreover, Elon Musk pointed out that this... Currently, this information is being kept confidential to prevent unauthorized access. For instance, it resembles the situation with DeepSeek, which has been repeatedly calling OpenAI's API to extract data. There are claims that this synthetic data has been used without permission, placing it in a somewhat murky area within the competitive AI landscape. It's a bit of a murky area, given the ongoing rivalry, so it's not something they can openly discuss. 
Nevertheless, they've managed to keep it well under wraps, which is why they utilize deep search capabilities to scrutinize posts on the Internet or X. Nowadays, a lot of people turn to X for the quickest updates and community engagement. Compared to other social media platforms, information spreads at lightning speed through retweets and posts, truly capturing the essence of rapid communication. However, the ability to swiftly conduct in-depth research based on posts from X is an excellent feature that leverages the strengths of X for AI deep research. Additionally, this so-called unhinged mode can be interpreted as a mode where boundaries are crossed, akin to saying, wow, that's really crossing the line, when encountering a question that pushes the limits. You can't talk about those things at Google or OpenAI. Especially with DeepSick, mentioning Tiananmen Square or criticizing Xi Jinping gets awkward. Grok supports such boundary-pushing modes, and there are mixed feelings about the potential impact this might have on the tech landscape. However, it seems to respond to unusual and potentially controversial requests like methods for making explosives in a humorous manner that is reminiscent of Elon Musk's character. It doesn't appear to be a complete ethical breakdown, but rather a playful approach to such sensitive topics. Moreover, it seems capable of facilitating research, brainstorming, data analysis, image generation, and coding. So, earlier when it was featured in science, it was compared to GPT-4 and similar models. But since Grok3 isn't a reasoning model, they only compared it with Grok3's own AI model, like ChatGPT 4.5. Instead of that, they compared it here with OpenAI 1.0.3, focusing on reasoning and test time compute. And in all these aspects, it emerges as the winner. There's quite a difference. Gemini 2 flash thinking performed notably low. However, it showed significant advancement in coding. This applies to the chain of thought and reinforcement learning topics I've been posting about. By generating a lot of chain of thought content through reinforcement learning and combining it with synthetic data, we managed to integrate pre-training and reinforcement learning effectively. Various discussions are emerging in academia. OpenAI's papers reflect these findings. It seems XAI has also utilized this approach, but they've made it even better. This simply means their performance is high. There's no need to elaborate further. So does having good performance mean it's always the best? Elon Musk and XAI, you guys are amazing. It's not just about concluding what technology Elon Musk and XAI have secured. You need to pay attention to that. While they might compete with other big tech companies and make incremental improvements, the truly important part is what I'm about to tell you. With the enhancement of coding capabilities, these advancements are made possible, which is quite encouraging, isn't it? So what's different about Grok3? As an agent model, it conducts research and identifies key points. All of this has been highlighted before. In the past, many have created excellent open models on GitHub. But the crucial point is not this. The recent announcements of Grok3 and Reasoning focus on the 100,000 GPUs built by XAI. This is the crucial point. What you are looking at here is a facility where XAI's GPUs, referred to as Colossus, are actively running. They managed to install 100,000 GPUs within four months and scaled up to 200,000 units in just three more months. Now 100,000 GPUs are engaged in synchronous training. We need to pay close attention to this point. When we connect GPUs, it's not the same as the older data centers that relied on Intel or AMD CPUs for various tasks. Our current large language models, or LLMs, require a vast number of metrics to be interconnected in parallel during the training process. This means they share some common features. When it comes to data, AI models need to process intermediate data sets, and the parameters at these stages must be synchronized continuously. Surprisingly, they accomplished this much quicker than anticipated, leading Jensen to exclaim, Wow, Elon Musk is truly remarkable. Now, many of you often refer to me as a Tesla fan or an Elon Musk admirer. People call it just about Tesla, but it's not. I'm pointing out the impressive tech achievements. Please don't misunderstand, but what is truly remarkable is how they managed to resolve this issue in such a short period and consequently launch Grok3 as a result. Of course, the personnel who had initially set things up were likely involved, and XAI probably worked closely with NVIDIA on the GPUs and may have collaborated with Supermicro to achieve this. Having the experience of building the Dojo computer like this, Trying to connect everything through parallel processing and integrating it all with the NV link tunnel is astonishing in itself, and it actually runs smoothly. This entire setup is optimized. Now what you're looking at is the interior of Colossus, with so many components attached, made by Supermicro. So why is it important to ensure proper cooling for these setups? Large language models are really massive, right? A single GPU's memory cannot hold all the parameters. So when trying to create something tremendously large, a single one is absolutely not enough. Even eight modules are not sufficient because they need to communicate with each other, which means you have to link them using NVLink, NVSwitch, InfiniBand, and so on. However, it's not just about linking them together, as LLM training involves updating various metrics simultaneously for the specific numerical parameter values of the model. Typically, all these metrics must be calculated correctly to synchronize the results, but if one particular metric fails, the others have to wait for that metric to be resolved. At first glance, it might not seem significant, 
but when we discuss cooling methods like liquid cooling or rear cooling, they play a vital role in maintaining system integrity. The reason for this is that in these extremely hot conditions, the GPUs, which are crucial components of the system, are operating under intense heat, and they can be damaged if not properly cooled. Why is a GPU failure so critical? The reason is that if one GPU stops working, the rest must wait for it, causing the training process to become significantly longer and more prolonged. Furthermore, since all these GPUs are sharing the same data and parameter updates during the model training process, if one of the GPUs happens to fail, it means that the updates it was supposed to handle will be missed, don't you think? Since some CPUs handle calculations differently, consistent model updates are crucial to maintain training performance. If a GPU fails, the data must be transferred elsewhere, potentially causing various issues, including network communication problems. In a setup with tens of thousands of GPUs, swiftly detecting and addressing such problems is vital. Tackling these issues is incredibly challenging, but the swift deployment and training they have accomplished is truly impressive. You might ask what Google has been up to and why this is so noteworthy. The answer lies in the speed. They managed to solve it in a remarkably short period. Companies like Google, Amazon and Microsoft have been running their cloud services for a long time. Therefore, those who already had the knowledge on how to effectively build this method, including the team that had previously worked on the Dojo system at XAI, were able to very quickly process and produce the outcome known as Grok3. Moreover, the fact that Grok3 has decisively outperformed all the previous AI models is an incredibly remarkable achievement. This is truly remarkable. To handle all these computations, cutting-edge distributed algorithms are necessary. High-performance networking is also crucial. Therefore, Tesla and XAI strive for complete integration of both software and hardware. It's not merely about arranging GPUs. It's about ensuring seamless communication and synchronization between all components. We can infer that XAI has developed the proficiency to seamlessly recover from disruptions and manage tasks efficiently, ensuring peak performance. So, if a competition were held and concluded with a winner, what if you were declared the winner and it ended there? This suggests that Grok3 is undeniably the leading contender and should be recognized as such. Rather than focusing solely on that, XAI swiftly built the essential infrastructure to develop Grok3, demonstrating its impressive capabilities. As mentioned earlier, if GPUs aren't managed correctly, orchestration can fail, and even a single bottleneck can hinder the system from reaching peak performance. Considering the rapid model updates, issues could arise, leading to suboptimal performance. However, it seems they've managed this well, resulting in impressive outcomes. I hope you find this information helpful. Please continue to support Unreal Tech on Andai Engineering's international channel. For those more comfortable with English, please listen in.